Hi everybody, Skippy Simon here. I'm sitting on my floor. I've been vacuuming today and I've been playing with my sound machine, which is this little thing I won at Dave and Buster's. It has all these crazy sounds and everything. So if you hear like crazy, ooh, or I like this thing. But, uh, so, I'm going to talk about problematic jokes part two. I've been writing jokes. I write jokes in the key of me. I like jokes that make me laugh. I like jokes that are, fuck you. I like jokes that are kind of like word puzzly. I like jokes that make you think. And I also write jokes that I want people to repeat to their friends because that is what a joke is is for it's supposed to be sharing with people and making them laugh so that's what i love joke about so i've been writing jokes i write jokes that i think are hysterical and i try to convey it to an audience now that sometimes is the problem because i'm a thick-skinned individual you can call me whatever the hell you want you can call me a tranny a faggot whatever the fuck you want to call me i'm like yeah whatever you call me a Call me the Antichrist, you call me a communist, call me a socialist, call me whatever. Call me whatever you want, I can handle it. Because you know what, I do this thing, whenever people call me names, consider the source. Okay? Consider the person calling you such name. Who is this individual, and why should you give a flying you know, so that's what I do. I don't call me whatever you want. I'm not a little pussy ass, you know, jerk off like most audiences nowadays. I saw some video of uh, some what some triggered ass pussy ass Trump supporter in New Jersey throwing a beer at some woman on stage because she voted for Biden. Fuck you. Who gives a fucking shit? Leave your political identity at the door and have a good time, you cunt. Fuck you. Fuck Trump. Fuck Biden. Fuck everybody out there who's not having a good time. We gotta know. That's the problem. Okay, I try to do party humor, and the only party you assholes care about are Republican or Democrat. And I'm neither. Okay, those parties fucking suck. One of them wants you to go to church all the time, and the other one wants you to fucking... Free healthcare? Okay, whatever. I like those guys better. Whatever. But I... Don't give a fuck, okay? I know our government is a mafia. Okay, I'm a veteran. I was a part of the mafia. Alright, the military is there for corporate takeovers of entire countries. That's what it's there for, I know. But Alright, but I'm just saying I'm tired of you pussies. Okay? I, that's the thing about America. We're no longer land of the free, home of the brave because of capitalism. We're land of the buy one, get one half off. Home of the pussy ass motherfucker who can't take a joke. Grow the fuck up. Get a fucking thick skin, bitch. Alright, so, with that being said, let's go into problematic joke part two. Problematic joke part two. People are gonna say it's racist. Oh, go for it. Say it's racist. I don't give a fuck. Alright? I try my best not to be racist, but. I find it absolutely amusing that some terms are legitimate with some people and not with other people. All right? For some people, you say one word and it's a term of endearment. For other people, it's the most racist thing you can say. All right? And I think we all know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to tell my joke right now. This is problematic joke part two. I like this joke. And it's based on true events. And I'll talk about it after I tell the joke. Here's the fucking joke. So I'm dating a black midget. And I have a pet name for her when we're in public. I call her my fun size Milky Way. But when we're in bed and I got my nuts deep in her, I call her my fun size Snickers. And that's my little nickname for around the house. Like, 
when I can't find her, I'm like, where my snick is at? <laughs> and if I want something, I'm like, snicker, please. <laughs> and when she's resting there in my arms, I'm like, my snickers. Because the last thing I want is some Snickers with attitude. That's the fucking joke, okay? That's the fucking joke. It's my... Uh, I think it's hysterical. Yeah, it's a play on words. It's a play on the end bomb. But I'm not saying it. I'm beating around the bush, I just find it, I find it hysterical that I will tell, like, this actually happened a couple weeks ago, there was a young black lady in the audience and she laughed at my Jew jokes, she laughed at my white trash jokes, she laughed at my Mexican jokes, as soon as I said a black joke, oh Jesus, oh what's gonna happen, so... Yeah, if you can laugh at other people, you can laugh at your fucking self, motherfuckers. So, and also tell you, I actually did date a black midget. Okay, I was just talking about this with a young lady working up at uh, Dave and Buster's about how I dated a black midget, and she was very, very hoodie, very hood rat. And I loved it. She had them big, long-ass nails and used to scratch my back with those things. It was fucking amazing. I took her to Magic Mountain, where we played grab-ass all day when she would walk up the stairs. I'd have that little midget ass staring me in the face. It was fucking amazing. And we did something that day, and it was awesome. We just wanted to make... See, all right, comedy is not about laughter, okay? Comedy is not about laughter. People have that misconception. Comedy is about reaction. Okay? Comedy is about reaction. The one reaction you want the most, of course, is laughter. You want acceptance. You want applause. You want all of that. But comedy is about reaction. Myself and this young little lady that I was dating... We were, we, I took her to Magic Mountain. Luckily, she was just tall enough to ride the rides. And I would prop her up onto the railings, and me and her would just do some heavy PDA, some major makeout session, just because I wanted, and so did she, to make so many people uncomfortable seeing a tall white looking guy making out with a short little teeny tiny beautiful black woman and it was hysterical and we did that all throughout Six Flags and then we went to Claim Jumper afterwards where we did the same thing the entire fucking dining room staring at me and her as we're making out just glaring all these white ass just White eyes just glaring at us. Like, how could you bring that... That animal in here? Fuck you, white people. I love black women. They're fucking beautiful. I'll never stop. You can't make me. I love all women, okay? Women, I love you. You guys keep me from being gay. Thank you so much. You're fucking awesome. So, thank you, women. That is Problematic Joke Part 2. Based on a true story. Um, so yeah, leave in the comments what you think of this joke. I I don't think I'm going to be doing it that much longer. Um, I know that it causes too many problems, so what's the point of doing it? Sometimes you just have to admit defeat. But if somebody requests it, I will do it. I'm a goddamn comedy jukebox, so 
You see me live, I'll fucking do it for you. Hey, Snickers joke. <laughs> All right. Or Black Midget joke. Whatever. Call it Black Midget joke. Because that way it doesn't give away the punchline. Yeah, it's the Black Midget joke. That's what I'll call it. Skippy Simon's Problematic Jokes Part 2, the Black Midget joke. All right. Thank you for listening. I, I'm i going to be going to the comedy store tonight. It's Monday night here in Hollywood. And I'm bringing my friend Jim Painter with me. Jim Painter hasn't done comedy in about 15 years. He's getting back into it. He was one of the most amazing stand-up comics back in the early 2000s. And I'm fucking excited because I want to see him succeed. So, yeah, I'm excited about tonight. So, whoo! Yeah, come down to the comedy store. I'll be performing. And, yeah. Let's party, motherfuckers. It's Monday. All right, I'm out of here. Bye. I got to go do the rest of my vacuuming. Great.